with admiration and encouragement for everyone who will need to remain steadfast in these latter days, I say to all, and especially the youth of the Church, that if you haven't already, you will one day find yourself called upon to defend your faith or perhaps even endure some personal abuse simply because you are a member of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Such moments will require both courage and courtesy on your part. For example, a sister missionary recently wrote to me, My companion and I saw a man sitting on a bench in the town square eating his lunch. As we drew near, he looked up and saw our missionary name tags. With a terrible look in his eye, he jumped up and raised his hand to hit me. I ducked just in time, only to have him spit his food all over me and start swearing the most horrible things at us. We walked away, saying nothing. I tried to wipe the food off my face, only to feel a clump of mashed potato hit me in the back of the head. Sometimes, she wrote, it's hard being a missionary <laughs> because right then I wanted to go back, grab that little man, and say, excuse me, <laughs> but I didn't. To this devoted missionary, I say, dear child, you have in your own humble way stepped into a circle of very distinguished women and men who have, as the Book of Mormon prophet Jacob said, viewed Christ's death and suffered His cross and borne the shame of the world. Indeed, of Jesus Himself, Jacob's brother Nephi wrote, And the world, because of their iniquity, shall judge Him to be a thing of naught. Wherefore, they scourge Him, and He suffereth it. And they smite Him, and he suffereth it. Yea, they spit upon him, and he suffereth it, because of his loving kindness and his long suffering towards the children of men. <laughs>